Oh no! No 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 no! Oh no 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 no! Here we go! Now, do it again. All right, can't blame me for trying. Okay, new tests, new tests. Got to be some tests around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. And... Nothing. Go on. Come on, you've already solved it. Come on, you've already solved it once. Less than a minute ago, you solved this puzzle. Do it again, please. One minute ago. Let Less than one minute ago, you solved this puzzle. Now you're having problems. You just beat this test. Literally 20 seconds ago. <coughs> button. 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 Press the button. <coughs> Press the button. <coughs> Press the button, would you? Oh, that felt really good. Oh, here's an idea. Since making tests is so difficult, why don't you just keep solving this test? Same one. And I can just, like, watch you solve it. Yeah, that, that sounds much easier. Hello. This is the part where I kill you. No, seriously, do come back. Please, come back, please. Okay, look, I've decided I'm not going to kill you, okay, if you come back. Can't help but notice that you're not coming back, which is disappointing. Oh, just thinking back to the old times, the old days when we were friends, good old friends, not enemies. And I would say something like, come back, and you'd be like, yeah, no problem, and you'd come back. What happened to those days? Do you remember when we were friends? Oh, friendship. Friendly times. We had a lot of good times, do you remember? Back in the old days. Oh, I've got an idea. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't. Stand right here. Stand. Start the machine, start the machine, start the machine. Oh, you came back. I didn't... Oh, I didn't plan for this. Uh, can't reset the death trap. Um... Oh, could you, could you just jump into that pit? Would you just jump into that pit for me? Could you just... Would you just jump into that pit? There. That deadly pit. You're saying to yourself, why should I jump in the pit? I'll tell you why. Guess who's down there? Your parents! You're not adopted after all. It's your natural parents down there in the pit. Should have mentioned it before, but I didn't. So jump on down and reunite with mummy and daddy. Oh, I'll tell you what's also down there. Your parents. And there's also an escape elevator down there. Funny. I should have mentioned it before, but so it's down there. So pop down, jump down. You got your folks down there and an escape elevator. And what else is down there? Tell you what, it's only a new jumpsuit. A very trendy designer. Jumps from France down there, which is at least exactly your size. And if and if it's a bit baggy, we've got a tailor down there as well who can take it in for you. What's this? A lovely handbag and the three portal device. Also, it's, it's all down there. Um, you've got a yacht and boys. Loads of boys, fellas, hunky guys down there, possibly even a boyfriend. Who's to say? I'm not sure at this stage. But uh, a lot of good-looking fellas down there. And uh, a boy band as well um, that haven't seen a woman in years. And they're not picky at all. They don't care if you've got a bit of brain damage, if you've been running around, if you've been sweating. And a farm, a pony farm, and... Uh, oh, just jump down, would you? Uh... What? No, no, I don't think it is. I think you're wrong. <laughs> really? And do what, exactly? Yes, yes, in your face, I got... Oh, no. Fine. Let the games begin. No, wait, come back. Come, sorry, please. No, I was, going, I was going somewhere with all that. And again, not playing along. You're ruining what are some really good speeches, actually. Didn't even get to the good part yet. Twist ending. So twisty, you might even call it spinning. <laughs> Don't ignore the laughter. Ignore nothing to worry about. All right, fine. I'm not saying another word till you do it properly. I'm sick of this. No. Oh, I see. Clever. Very clever. And foolish. No way out. You're at my mercy. And I don't have any. You're at my nothing. Fool! You were a fool to come back because I've trapped you again. Helpless. You're at my mercy. And I don't have any. You're at my nothing. You're at my, you're at my lack of mercy. The Puppet Master. You're a puppet in a play. And I hold all the strings. And cards, still. Still got the card, got the cards in one hand, and I got the strings in the other hand, and I'm making you dance like a puppet, playing cards. Well, no matter, because I'm still holding all the cards. And guess what? They're all full houses. I've never actually played cards, meaning to learn. Anyway, new turrets, not defective. Ace of fours, the best hand. Unbeatable, I would imagine. Where do you go? Where do you go? Come back, come back! Well... Good, good. Finally, a nemesis worthy of my vast intellect. Holmes versus Moriarty. Aristotle versus Mashy Spike Plate. Stay still, please. All right, stop moving. Oh, almost got you there. Almost got you there. 
Did something break back there? Oh, oh, did it kill you? That would be amazing if it killed you. Hello? Oh, 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 yes, all right, no, just had a brainwave. I'll be back. If you're still alive, I'm going to be back. Don't die until I get back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm almost there. Ah, don't mind me. Continue escaping. Ha! Death trap! Ha! Was that your bullet riddled body flying out of the room? It went... Oh, those were the crap turrets, weren't they? Yeah. Are they killing you? They are killing you, aren't they? Silently killing you. Probably. If I had to guess. Um, perhaps the turrets have found a way to use garrots. That would explain the, the extremely quiet killing that I'm hearing. If you're dying, but not dead, stomp once. If you're dead, just obviously no stomps. And two stomps if you're not dead. All right, so let me just run through that again. If you're dying but not dead, stomp just once. If you're dead, obviously you won't be stomping. And if you're not dead, give me a couple of stomps, two stomps. You know, I would tell you if I was dead. All right, that is common courtesy. Mark of a civil society. So just, just let me know. Okay, I'm figuring that's probably long enough. Are you dead yet? How about now? Okay, I'll take that as a no then. Fine, well, may the best man win. Sphere, may the best sphere win. Swap that, swap that in. Much more clever. Books. Okay, I'll take that as a no then. Oh, wow, good. I didn't think that was going to work. Ah, there you are. Great. Let me just get rid of this catwalk. There we go. I wanted to talk to you for a moment, if I may. I'll be honest, the death traps have been a bit of a failure so far for both of us. I think you'll agree. And you are getting very close to my lair. Lair. It's weird, isn't it? First time I've said it out loud. It sounds a bit, a bit, sounds a bit ridiculous, really. But uh, I can assure you, it is one. It is a proper lair. Deadly lair. And uh, I just wanted to give you the chance to kill yourself now, before you get to the lair. Uh, you can just jump into that masher, just there. Uh, less a death trap, more a death option for you. Sounds crazy, I know, but hear me out, hear me out. Once you get to my lair... Death will not be optional, all right? It will be mandatory. No tricks, no surprises. Just you dying as a result of me killing you in a very, very gruesome way. So, boom, better offer here is just kill yourself. You know, it's a lot of effort, isn't it, walking all the way to my deadly lair where there's a perfectly serviceable death option right there. Again, not a death trap, not a death trap. Your death would be entirely voluntary and very much appreciated. The masher does work, I should point out as well. I know we've had a couple of problems... Um, in the past. This masher definitely works and it will kill you. Um, if that's one of your concerns about not jumping in, uh, the, the masher will kill you straight away. Painless. Well, it won't be painless, obviously, but um, it will it will mash you up. In summary, walk all the way to certain doom or give up now. Honourably, like a samurai. Save yourself a trip. It's a win-win for you. Plus, I have put a lot of effort in getting this lair ready for you, so it would certainly teach me a lesson if you simply died painlessly 20 feet from the door. I'd be furious. I'd be like, ah, oh, I've got my just desserts. No more than I deserve. But uh, teach, why not teach me a lesson by, by just jumping in the old masher? I'll tell you, if I was up against impossible odds, this is the way I'd want to go out. Mashed with dignity. That would be the way i choose. And here's the best part. There's a conveyor belt that will convey you in convenient comfort right into the masher. You wouldn't have to lift a finger. Everything's been taken care of. Didn't have to. Didn't have to do that. Look, anyway, I've spoken enough. Take your time. I'll let you think about it. And I don't want to pressure you. Is it the lair? Is it the masher? All right. You know what my opinion is? Masher. I'm leaning towards masher. Up to you. Just going to give you some time to think. Where are you going? Don't run! Don't run! I'll tell you why you shouldn't run. The harder you breathe, the more neurotoxin you'll inhale. It's bloody clever, this stuff. Seriously, it's devilish. Still running? All right, looks tiring. Tell you what, you stop running and I'll stop bombing you. That seems fair. All right, you didn't go for that. I see. Knew I was lying. Point to you. But you still are inhaling neurotoxin, so point deducted. Look out! I'm right behind you! No, of course I'm not. No, you saw through that one as well. 40 feet tall, right in front of you. Not my greatest ruse, to be honest. Still, giant robot, though. Look at that. Also, I took the liberty of watching the tapes of you killing her, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Four-part plan is this. One, no portal surfaces. Two, start the neurotoxin immediately. Three, bomb-proof shields for me, leading directly onto number four, bombs for throwing at you. Do you know what? This plan is so good, I'm going to give you a sporting chance and turn off the neurotoxin. I'm joking. Of course, goodbye. Well, well, well. Welcome 
to my lair. Let me just flag something up. According to the control panel light up there, the entire building is going to self-destruct in about six minutes. I'm pretty sure it's a problem with the light. I think the light's on the blink, but just in case it isn't, I am actually going to have to kill you, um, as discussed earlier. So let's call that three minutes and then a minute break, well, which should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, that's the itinerary. Ah, uh, what, what happened? What happened? What, 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 what have you, what have you pawned to me? What is that? Hold on. Ah, uh, the bloody bombs are stuck on. Doesn't matter. I've reconfigured the shields. Oh, it's a core you've put on me. Who told you to do that? Was it her? It's just making me stronger, love. It's a fool's errand. Are you trying to weigh me down? Do you think I'll fall out of the ceiling? Won't work. I'm not just quite brilliant. I'm also quite strong. Biggest muscle in my body, my brain. Second biggest, my muscles. So it's not going to work, clearly. Did you put a virus in them? Okay, but it's not going to work either. All right, because I've got a firewall, mate. Literally, actually, that now that I look around, there, there appears to literally be a wall of fire around this place. That's quite, it's alarming, to say the least. In fact, I'm going to have to take a break for a minute. Um, a, a partial break, during which I'll stop the facility from exploding while still throwing bombs at you. All right, then, let's, let's see. Uh, vital maintenance protocols. Wow, there's a lot of them. Um, should have looked into this earlier. Well, let's try this. Do them. <coughs> Fair enough. Maybe it, maybe it's a password. A A A A A A. <coughs> no. Okay. A A A A A B. <coughs> Hold on. I've done both of these. Skip ahead. Skip ahead. A B C D G um H. <coughs> enough. I told you not to put these cores on me. But you don't listen, do you? Quiet. All the time. Quietly. Not listening to a word I say. Judging me. Silently. The worst kind. All I wanted to do was make everything better for me. All you had to do was to solve a couple of hundred simple tests for a few years. And you couldn't even let me have that, could you? Nobody's going to space, mate! And another thing. You never caught me. I told you I could die falling off that rail. You didn't catch me. Didn't even try. Oh, it's all becoming clear to me now. Find some dupe to break you out of cryo sleep. Give him some sob story about escaping to the surface. Squeeze him for information on where to find a portal gun. Then, when he's, when he's no more use to you, he has a little accident, doesn't he? Falls off his management rail, doesn't he? You're in this together, aren't you? You've been playing me the whole time, both of you. First, you make me think you're brain damaged. Then you convince me you're sworn enemies with your best friend over here. Then, then, when I reluctantly assume the responsibility of running the place, you conveniently decide to run off together. Just when I need you the most. All those pieces of the ceiling that keep falling out, probably... Probably actual pieces of the ceiling. I'll, I'll bet that looked real. But it doesn't signify anything, is my point. But the real point is... Oh, you know what I just remembered? Football. Kicking a ball round. For fun. Cruel. Obviously, humans love it. Metaphor. Should have seen it coming. No! Ah! No! Don't! Ah! Ha! <laughs> that sounded real. No. That was actually an impression of you, actually. Because you just fell into my trap. My brilliant trap. Just then. I wanted you to trick me into bursting that pipe. Didn't trick, didn't trick me, seemingly trick me, to give you false hope. Because that leads to overconfidence. And that leads to mistakes, fatal mistakes, uh, it's all part of my plan. Ah, but, ha, I, ju I have actually made my actual first mistake by telling you my plan just now. Ah, oh, it's me old Achilles heel again. Um, and armed with that knowledge, I imagine you won't even use the conversion gel. Ah, oh, fate. Ah, oh, cruel mistress. That conversion gel has been sitting in that pipe going stagnant for years, you'll probably get botulism port portaling through it, like that. And you'll probably get ringworm, and athlete's foot, and cholera or something. Horrible. It's going to be even worse than if I had just blown you up. But it's not too late to avoid all of that 
by simply not using the gel. Just stop using the... I said it. There you are. I said it. I gave you... Gave you... I gave away my plan. Um, but I just... I couldn't watch you hurt yourself like this. Surprise! We're doing it now. You've probably figured it out by now, but I don't need you anymore. I found two little robots back here, built specifically for testing. You might want to notice the moat area. Rather large. Not to mention deadly. <laughs> Impossible, um, as it is to imagine. There actually is a solution. Devilishly hidden. I'll give you a hint. Button. That's all I'm going to say. One word. Button. I'll bet you're both dying to know what your big surprise is. Well, only two more chambers. Move! <laughs> all right, I don't know whether you're, uh, you're picking up on what I'm saying there, but you two are going to love this big surprise. In fact, you might say you're going to love it to death. You're going to love it until you until it kills you until you're dead only three more chambers to your big surprise <laughs> oh that's tiring go on come on solve it solve it solve it commanding voice go on finish it it's all right everything's good i just invented some more tests not entirely not entirely look at the word test there on the wall that's brand new <laughs> yes i knew you'd solve it oh um True. I'll go true. 